Okay, here's a combo you don't see every day. Um, old B and K CB uh, test equipment. Um, the B and K 2040 here, which is um, a, basically a signal generator, and I guess they call this the 1040 uh, service master here. Um, basically, um, uh, uh, RF watt meter and an audio watt meter and an audio generator so basically this is um, a 40 channel synthesized PLL signal generator for aligning the receive all it does is inject well it puts out a signal a small signal for the receive that you um, hook your coax in and this injects a RF signal into the um, through the coax into your receiver so if you're aligning a radio and it says you know inject uh, you know 0.1 DB or 100 millivolts or 1 1,000th one of a millivolt um, etc into your CB channel 20 channel 40 channel 1 or you know to switch around the alignment this will do that you just hook your coax here and go to the channel there and you know channel 40 even got a frequency thing in there um, 27.405 it will inject that you know into the radio and you you know get a scope and whatever you else you need to align the radio so you got a source for the RF so this injects um, dead key non-modulated RF or it's got a uh, internal modulator that modulates the RF in this so all this here if you need a modulated like uh, one kilohertz signal you can go there or if you need a um, 400 hertz signal you can go there or a 2500 hertz signal and then CW is no um, modulation no modulation for the RF and over here is the output meter for the RF side and the output meter for the audio or the uh, internal modulated audio so you know uh, if you're lining a radio they say you know inject 30 percent you know modulated RF into you know channel one let's say and you can adjust that for 30 percent and go to channel one and adjust your microvolts and you got everything you need to inject the um, the 27 megahertz signal it also has a 455 kilohertz um, RF generator that a lot of radios but not all but a lot you know maybe 40 50 percent use a 455 kilohertz for the um, um, second oscillator um, so you can inject 455 kilohertz into a radio if it is runs on 455 that's not the frequency is not adjustable on that um, the output level is you adjust it with this knob here it's not calibrated but you can inject 455 into the um, second stage if you have a 455 so that's all this does it's basically a big old RF gener generator channelized it goes from 1 to 45 and all the in between channels and it injects RF into the um, radio or modulated RF if you use the modulator over there um, I bought these at Dayton a year or two ago and they look really good um, not quite mint but um, I say excellent condition if you consider the age and um, got the original manual for the uh, 2040 here the 1040 and even a service manual for the 1040 here now this here is basically um, reads the power from the radio um, if you transmit it's a basically a, a watt meter here it's got 1050 100 watt scale it's got peak or average and then it's got a built-in 100 watt dummy load um, you can um, use it for a dummy load or you can go through this and still use the uh, uh, watt meter and go out to the antenna so all that is uh, basically a watt meter SWR meter um, for it reflected peak or average up to 100 watt with the built-in dummy load or through um, 
use the watt meter still but out to an antenna or an external dummy load or whatever you want to go output to and then the middle second section is a audio generator um, you can use the internal speaker here and put a mic on that and you can um, modulate the radio using that using the mic or it does have um, audio output um, jacks here so you can use this for an audio generator um, two-tone which sometimes you need to align SSB transmit and I'm at a bad angle I can't see come on one kilohertz or two-tone and then the audio out to the um, um, audio out down there um, and then your internal speaker there for the mic so you got an audio generator out you got RF generator over here and you got the watt meter there and then this thing is uh, basically a RF watt meter for your speaker which you also use to align radios. Most um, radios when you align them they tell you to hook a uh, RF generator you know in and you know the channel and you know how much RF in and then on the output side you hook to the speaker and you align for the most power going to the speaker is how you um, align radios and you use a VTVM. Um, I use that big one there because I'm old and I can't see and it's easier for me to use the big one there but basically this is just a smaller version of that it's calibrated in watts um, and DB's and also there's a way to do a percent um, distortion test on this so uh, when you're aligning a radio receive you inject the signal in and you look what you get out and um, you align all the um, pots and coils and stuff um, according to the manual um, for the max output you know on the receive and that's mostly what you need to an aligner radio you know you need a counter you need a scope and these has provisions to hook to uh, a counter or scope on the back side there somebody put that sticker on there I don't like that but at least they didn't cut it up or anything can you see that there it's got outputs to hook to scope and counters and um external modulation um, that kind of stuff but um, basically most of what you need you still need a scope you still need a counter but if you're doing alignment but anyway I like this set because you know it's kind of part of CB lore CB history um, back in the day this was very popular for shops to have to use alignment uh, you know of a CB it's you know most of what you need in two packages Whereas um, even me, what I use for RF 27 megahertz is that big old heavy thing there. That thing probably weighs 100 pounds. Um, oh, HP synthesized uh, RF generator. And then for the mid frequencies, I use that um, fluke generator there. And then for audio frequencies, I use that uh, generator. So I use those three things alone and then uh, for receive audio I use that guy and then for RF I use uh, one of those guys so you know that's what five pieces to do and that doesn't do everything that these um, two pieces do so they're kind of neat easy to use you know like this if I gotta go to channel 40 and I need you know 0.1 microvolts I go to channel 40 hit the dial to 0.1 I can see it on the output and I'm done right if I go to 40.1 microvolts on that I got to push about 10 buttons and do some do some stuff to get that to work um, so you know this is easy and convenient part of CB history uh, they both work I have used that one and um, I never used this one because again I got that big watt meter there and that big um, VTVM there for my old eyes um, but I did hook it up just now to test this thing and uh, it works um, I already did the audio right two tone with the speaker and um, I got the radio hooked to it to the watt meter um, into the internal dummy load and 
that watt meter's in line too and it's showing 3.4 watts with a perfect match which it should be with the um, dummy load right so over here if you look on the 10 watt scale it's showing a little bit under 3 watts so this one is a little bit stingier than the um, digital meter there very little forward well some forward swing I think that's on peak there we go audio 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 on peak 10 watt scale my little mud duck radio and on average audio 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 and like I say everything works very clean excellent condition have a scratch here and there like can you see that scratch there and um, another small one here so not quite mint but doggone what was these things made you know like 1978 or something like that what are they uh, 40 years old uh, maybe more um, so anyway these are in excellent condition most time you see them they don't work or you know like this speaker thing they didn't put the mic on it so much that they've killed the, the little rubber and all that but these are in excellent condition and they work and I'll probably let them go, but I want a lot of money for them. You know, no low balls or else I'd just keep this part of working, you know, convenient, nice to have. If you're going to work on radios, uh, CB history, the B&K, uh, 1040 CB service master and the B&K 2040 CB signal generator with the original user's manuals and one um original service manual okay that's gonna be it for this one bye